Hello friends, Running Kimono here. So a couple days ago, I put out a YouTube short saying I was not renewing my Costco membership. Talk about kicking a beehive because there was a, a lot of opinions from around the board. People agreed with 100% what I was saying and they were doing the same thing. And then other shoppers who thought that I was completely out of my mind. Um, so I just wanted to unpack this a little bit and kind of discuss it because you can't do it in a 60 second video. And I know there's a lot of people who might be on the fence about um, why not to have a Costco membership. So I just thought I would, uh, you know, discuss it a bit more than a 60 second video. And this is the uh, YouTube short uh, that I was talking about. A lot of opinions if you want to go through the comments. A lot of people uh, highly disagree with me. But um, this was a personal choice and mine. So it is the right choice if it's mine. So the first part of this is I don't live in the same town with um, a Costco. So I would have to drive uh, two hours, which is quite a bit or two and a half, depending how it was. And uh, that drive, you know, you'd have to carve out maybe half a day to get out there buy your groceries, come back, and um, how much are you really saving the price of gas these days? And gas prices haven't really decreased in the last two years. Food prices haven't really gone back to what they were uh, in the last three years as well. So I'm better off buying locally at, say, a Walmart or a Meyer grocery store than driving two hours for this food. Buying in bulk is always convenient but at what cost? So that really weighed heavily on me. There is always a really nice variety, especially if you're a low carb dieter over at Costco and lots of influencers that do keto carnivore. They're always like, you know, I bought this at, at uh, Costco. And I think I was just being influenced to buy that specific food, but you can get a steak just as good quality at Walmart. So like, why am I driving all this way? So it was an easy decision that way. Um, as I did really enjoy the variety, I also liked gifting a lot of stuff from the my hauls uh, to family members, um, just little things that you would get just a little bit cheaper, you'd think. But with the drive and all the messing around, how much are you really saving? Uh, the dollars and cents wise, I wasn't saving much. Now, also, if you opt for a more expensive membership, the $120 one, you're supposed to get 2% back. And I never did get my 2% back. And on Instagram, I think last January, when those checks started rolling out to members' homes, everybody was saying that their checks were short. There is some fine print saying that there's a list of items that are excluded. So I'm thinking some lawn furniture that I bought that was more expensive, perhaps a television as well. Both of those items were not included. So the member who upsold me on the $120 membership, that's exactly what he did. It was just more money for the membership, for the club. And I never got back much. I think I got back like 80 bucks, which isn't 120. And here's the final thing. And uh, a lot of people agreed with me in the comments. I took this lady's name out. I didn't think she'd maybe want her first and last name in this video, but she agreed with me. And she said, I'm not renewing my membership either. I got tired of constantly being asked to show my membership card. Felt like I was being treated like a criminal. Sorry, but not to be not worth the hassle. She's right. She's absolutely right. And I agree with her. Uh, when you walk in, you have to show your card. When you're trying to check out, you have to show your card. When you're leaving, they look at your receipt and put that line through it. And they're not really looking at everything. Because come on, if you have like 40 items in your basket, like smaller items, are they really going through it that quickly? No, I don't know what that is. They're apparently looking for a date. So you're not filling your cart with the same thing and double dipping on your transaction. If you bought it on a Monday and you're going back on a Saturday with the same receipt. Who knows what the story is, but the cherry and the frosting on the cake for me was, um, I think it was last January, I went in there and I tried to show my card at checkout and I wanted to do self-checkout. And the, the lady standing there is like, go through a regular line. They're a lot faster. And then you don't have to show your receipt when you leave, you just walk out of the store. And I'm like, really? really? And she's like, yeah, absolutely. I, I swear. And I'm like, okay, cool. So we went through the, the lane with a regular cashier and it was fast. And then when we tried to leave the store, the line was massive. There was one lady, you know, looking at the receipts and I'm like, well, we were told we could just leave. So we tried to leave the club without showing our receipt and we got screamed at. And, and then I said, Hey, you have a, an employee at that line looking at memberships 
telling customers that you could just walk out if you go through a regular lane with a cashier. And then she was like, oh, that person, they don't know what they're talking about. And then so in front of us, you're being unprofessional about another employee and then screaming at us when we were told, hey, just leave the, the warehouse. Like, what is this? Feeling like a criminal? Big time. It's like you're shoplifting the amount of times that they ask to see your identification I enough's enough like I'm an idiot because I'm paying $120 to be there to be treated this way so like enough I'm done we're good not I'm not renewing my membership this is a hard and fast rule and let's be honest if I wanted to get back into this a Costco membership the cheapest one is 60 bucks the cheapest one at Sam's Club when they have their promotions is 20 it's a third of the cost and they probably have the exact same stuff. They do because I used to be a member at Sam's Club like 10 years ago. If I ever get back into this, it would definitely be at Sam's Club, but I am done with Costco for all these reasons.